Chrome browser from Google is one of the most widely used browsers, and if you're like me and like the convenience but are concerned about your online privacy whilst online, keep watching this video where I show you the top Google Chrome extensions to protect your online privacy. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for related blog posts is also available. I've recently created a few videos around privacy tools, including tutorials around VPNs and browsers like Tor and Brave. However, for those of you who are still using Chrome, it's worth checking out some of these extensions that you can use for extra privacy. When it comes to privacy, Chrome is not the most private browser out there, mostly due to it being a Google product. However, if you are concerned about your privacy, but you're not yet ready to move across to more privacy-focused browsers, such as the likes of Brave or Tor, then it's worth checking these out. Google Chrome has a whole host of extensions that you can use for privacy, including the likes of anti-tracking, ad blocking, password managers, and VPNs. Whilst we're on the subject of VPNs, I would certainly recommend using a VPN whenever you go online to protect your privacy, and a VPN should be used in conjunction with these extensions. I'll pop a link to my preferred VPN provider, ExpressVPN, below, as well as some links to my Tor and Brave video tutorials. This video will contain some of the most popular extensions for privacy, but if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them, so please feel free to put them in the comments below. uBlock Origin uBlock is by far one of the most popular privacy extensions with over 10 million users, and it's recommended a lot online. It's an extension for content filtering available for Chrome as well as many other browsers. uBlock stops unwanted ads appearing on screen while speeding up your browsing experience. And I'll take us over to a live example now, so what I'm going to do is just head over to the Daily Mail. So as you can see at the moment, I've got a lot of ads appearing on screen and I've also got this video which is auto-playing in the bottom right-hand corner here. However, if I do add my uBlock extension, and if I reload the Daily Mail, you can see that it's blocking a whole host of media, including those ads that we saw previously, some video ads from auto-playing, as well as intrusive trackers. On a site-by-site -site basis, you also have the ability to block some media types, so you can remove things like pop-ups appearing on screen, you can remove any remote fonts, and you can also disable JavaScript on the site. As an advanced user, you can also customise and add additional blocks and sites. Click and Clean with the Click and Clean extension, you can easily clean up traces of your internet activity automatically and simply, helping to protect your privacy. The types of things that you can delete are the likes of your cache, you can delete your cookies, browsing and download history, all with just one single button. This is great for those of you who manually clean up your machine and want this done thoroughly and accurately, which should, should then save you time in the process. One downfall for me personally with Click and Clean is the fact that there are a lot of additional pop-ups that do appear on screen and a lot of tabs that do open. Ghostery. Ghostery is probably one of my favourite ad blocker extensions. It's nice and easy to use interface and when you have it running it will block ads and remove advertisements from websites that you're visiting, very similar to uBlock Origin. This means it will remove any clutter from your page so that you can concentrate on the content that you actually want to see. You'll also get to see how it's performing by seeing the number of trackers it's blocked on every page that you visit. It helps to protect your privacy by blocking these trackers, putting you in control of who collects your data. By default, it blocks all trackers, but you can also control the sites that you'd like to allow access to by simply clicking on and off, tracking, ad blocking and smart blocking using the buttons below. LastPass. LastPass is a password manager extension. It saves all your passwords, giving you secure access from every computer or mobile device. With all your username and passwords saved to LastPass, you will automatically be signed into your accounts, which will save you time as well as your own memory power trying to remember every single password. You can also do things like adding credit cards and shopping profiles. You can generate secure passwords to replace any weak ones that you currently have and you can access all your passwords within your vault, which is secured with a master password. Just so you're aware that master password is never shared with LastPass, ensuring your privacy. HTTPS Everywhere You may have already heard of HTTPS Everywhere, as it is automatically integrated into some of the more secure browsers available, such as the likes of Brave. 
HTTPS Everywhere is an extension created by EFF and the Tor project. With it running, it automatically switches sites that you visit from insecure HTTP connections to the more secure HTTPS. It encrypts your access to websites, which makes your browser and browsing experience more secure, and it will help to protect you from the loss of private data, surveillance, and account hijacking. Privacy Badger Privacy Badger, yet another anti-tracker, is a free privacy extension that automatically learns to block invisible trackers and it'll start blocking these once it sees the same blocker on three different websites. You can see what sites are currently tracking you, so if they're in green, it means that they don't track you, and if they're in red, then Privacy Badger has found a tracker and is blocking it. When it detects suspicious sources following you, Privacy Badger will automatically tell your browser to stop loading the content from that source. It also removes outgoing link click tracking from Facebook, Twitter, and Google, plus you can create your own custom block list. Panic button. This privacy extension is slightly different to the rest I'm covering in the fact that it helps you to be more private without prying eyes physically around you. Panic button hides all your tabs with one single button for you to restore later. So if you don't want others to see what you're looking at on screen, you can hide this all with a click of a button or a keyboard shortcut if you'd prefer. So you don't have to frantically minimize all your tabs whenever anyone approaches you. So all you have to do is simply click onto the button and all your tabs are then saved as a temporary bookmark. With another click of the green button now, all your tabs will then be restored. DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials DuckDuckGo, famous for its anonymous search engine, also has a Chrome extension available. DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials has tracker blocking, private search, and smarter encryption, so that your online data is more private by default. Their privacy grade service shows how much a site can be trusted and will force sites to use encrypted connections when they're available. Yet another extension with a tracker blocker, DuckDuckGo stops advertisers from tracking you on the sites that you visit. And of course, their search engine is also inbuilt, which never tracks your searches. Now, because there are so many great extensions available for anti-tracking and content filtering extensions, I didn't want to go through the same kind of things, but there are a few others to mention, such as the likes of Disconnect, ad blocker, and script safe. So that's just a few of the many Chrome extensions available for privacy. And as I said, if you'd like to recommend any, then please feel free to put in the comments below and I'd be happy to create a video around these. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do also head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more detailed review and further tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.